Now, before we get into this one, it's going to be a really special game for Seth Jones. His first start of his career, essentially, and his mom and the rest of his family are driving 363 miles, almost six hours, to come watch him play at Veterans Memorial Stadium. This is his big break, and uh, he's excited. <laughs> All right, folks, welcome back to the Marshall Football Walk-On Dynasty. We are in Season 3. Game three, we're taking on Troy Trojans. Last episode, Kentucky wrecked our shit. I was pretty demotivated and uh, considering giving up. It was not a fun experience. Throwing five interceptions is on my head. At the end of the day, it is on my head as the head coach of this team. Seth Jones was our backup quarterback. He's going to get the start today. Lauren Davis is going to go to the backup spot, even though he's somehow a uh, preseason All-American. But Seth Jones has steadily been improving, getting awareness points. I almost wonder if we should try out a coach mode and see how Seth Jones does without me, you know, here to uh, interrupt his regularly scheduled programming. He doesn't have the throw power, but he has more athleticism than Lauren Davis does. So we're going to see how this one shakes out. They're an 81 overall, so a pretty solid team. Nothing spectacular, but they do have some talent. Their quarterback is a decent player, but the one player they have is Kamani Vidal. He is a beast of a running back. 99 XL. His speed actually isn't that great, and they must have a really good offensive coordinator because these guys were not 91 overall when I looked. Defensively, their corners are not terribly strong either, so we may have a chance. A cornerback with 73 speed? I could never. Watch this dude pick me off five times. Jampy sitting down on it. Good, quick read by Seth Jones. Jampy with a nice hole. If we can run like that all day, we'll win this game because it takes the decision making out of my hands. O line really gelling so far to start the day. And uh, Terry Rich, the backup. Good stuff, buddy. Six yards. Jason Sanchez on that corner route has been money and Seth Jones is starting the game very solid play 27 yards for Jason Sanchez one of the transfer receivers we got coming out in the goal line Dom Wilson does a spin move and just busts his ass over on the sideline beautiful touchdown Dom Wilson is stuck in a food coma right now we don't know what's going on with him but the good thing about Don Wilson is he really brings profit to the uh, away hotel that we have because they have to like double their delivery um, when we stay at their establishment you know eat at the hotel so it's good stuff good for the economy good start <laughs> cannot start like that tackling on defense that was a linebacker, and now we just are waiting for the Calvary to come in. This running back is good, though, so it's understandable. But as a linebacker, you cannot get, just get shook like that. He just broke a record on us. Oh, Jerry Turner got toasted on that route, but they dropped it. We're lucky there. And another drop. Wait a second. Stewart is going to pick it up out of thin air this man is a magician and he's gonna take it all the way for a touchdown i am shook right now that they keep dropping all these passes that's why you have your catching on conservative and here come the refs to ruin our day potentially i i don't know i guess it probably hit the ground but play stands we're gonna get it Scotty Watkins, what effort and what tracking down pursuit ability there. We follow it up and get just eradicated on the read option. This man has the most milky skin I've ever seen. Somebody needs to hit this man and show him what it's like and get him out of this stadium. Problem is, they've been running this quarterback option and, and we've been sending pressure, but if we can't get off a block, it's not going to matter. And we get through... Is that who was that that just got that sack? Derek Bailey, defensive end nightmare. He's a backup. Actually, he's a linebacker in multiple spots. Good stuff from our rotational linebacker. We got a third and goal. This is a big play here from the defense. Um, we got him a little bit with fancy feet, but we need to make this tackle, and we do. It's going to be 28. Nathan Stewart who drops him. We're going to hold him to three here, hopefully. 
And they will tack on three. He has a noodle leg. If they weren't that close, it was over for him. We'll keep doing this. The run game is gelling. We're moving. And they blitzed. Still doesn't matter. Jampy's going to get a first down. This inside zone is a killer play. Ethan Riley, that was not even the intended route, but him and Seth Jones got a mind meld going on, and they figured it out. The thing is here, if we can score another touchdown, we can take their heart. We can take them out of this. We can mentally mess them up in a way they might not be able to recover from. But that's the thing. We can't do anything stupid here. Jason Sanchez, all right, we'll take it. Seth Jones will take it right up the middle. Seven yard first down. Carlos Jackson gets wide open on the slant. Nine yard touchdown. Carlos Jackson is a menace. And Seth Jones, his family is here. They're at the game. We got him a freaking press box, an invitation. And his mother in the stands right now is going berserk. This is pretty much Seth Jones' first start in his career. He did start a game last year, but it was kind of due to an injury situation. We trip him up in the backfield. Good stuff by Sean Bailey in the D-line. Sean Bailey gets there, and we got nobody out here in coverage. That was man coverage. I got to know where our coverage was. There had to have been somebody on crack. Got him to a third and four. We're going to see what we got. They're going to run it, and we get just... That's the problem, the block shedding. We had a chance there, but the block shedding is a huge issue right now. Going with another run, and our defense keeps over-pursuing. I just don't get it. We got to have some discipline and stop with the over-pursuit. And he's just going to run it in. We're going to have to get something going. I might have to start changing our defensive uh, perspectives because this quarterback run has got to stop. We're going to go aggressive on the option. It might not be a good idea. It might backfire on us, but we got to try something at this point. O-line blocking, still looking good. Jason Sanchez wide open on the slant, and he's still going. Sanchez is just really showing out today. Champy, another good run. Got caught up, but we'll take it. Really what I'm trying to do here offensively is just let them, you know, run this clock out and try to get some points on the board. It don't necessarily matter what points it is, but we got nobody open. Go ahead and take off here. Sneak out of bounds real quick. But we pretty much drove three minutes, and I want to give our defense a chance so they don't have to stop them at all. So that's really kind of what we're thinking here. Jampy's going to get a solid little run here. I probably could have ran that one better, but we'll take five. Jason Sanchez is going to get close. We're going to have to go into the hurry up here. I don't want to burn our last time out. And our O-line's going to kill it. Jampy's going to get in for a three-yard touchdown as time starts to tick away. This first half has been a just display of greatness, and I'm loving it, and our fans are excited. And we send a blitz. He swats it down. Defense has been great in the passing game. Good tackle by Stanford Chase. Oh my goodness, their receiver just dropped it. These guys have the butterfingers of all butterfingers. Like, this has been an interesting circumstance, circumstantial game. I don't know what's going on here. And Jampy's going to fight for those extra yards. That's the kind of team mentality. Second down, we thought we're going to third down. Nope, runs them over. Terry Rich, the backup, what a cut. He gets eight off of that one. Jampy just fighting, even though they know what's coming. They know the run and the ball's coming, and we're still fighting for six. And the read option, Jampy is going to just kill it. They were expecting a QB keeper. Seth Jones got that athleticism. And Jampy is just still going. This has been a road grading performance. And Ethan Riley's going to get in for the first touchdown of his career. They expected the run. 
Seth Jones dots him up. This is just a nickel and dime situation. That is all we have to do to win games. We do not have to throw for 400 yards a game, but it's been a consistently solid day. And now they're trying to run the ball, I mean throw the ball. He gets happy feet, runs right into a brick wall. This man eats hella JTM sandwiches, mashed potatoes with gravy. Sean Bailey, his gluttonous belly just enveloped him. That was great stuff. Got him to a third and seven here. Don't know what they're going to call here. We're just going to kind of play it conservative. They're going with a freaking screenplay, and we were not set up for this. The block shedding was horrible again. It's not an ideal world to be in, but we have a concise, very good lead, so I'll take it, whatever. We get pressure, and I believe that was Rayshon Lewis who made the tackle for zero yards. They're not going to give him a TFL, but he made a good one-on-one -on -one tackle. What a comeback route. Jerry Turner actually had good coverage there, but that was just a really good route. They are not going to give it to him. The referees decided he did not catch it. I'll be honest, I was on my phone. I wasn't even watching that replay, which I know as a coach, you know, I just I thought it was pretty just straightforward there. <laughs> Seth Jones, this man is money. Seth Jones. With a gigantic game, breaks a tackle. This is where we've been missing this athleticism, this broken tackle ability. JMP, I mean, it's just an instrumental performance. This is just great stuff. Dom Wilson, that route has been... Did you just see him throw that man off? Like, he just jumped him in line at the Golden Corral buffet. He took the last biscuit. That man just threw him down like he was a pile of garbage. We're going to get Todd Daniel in here, our former fullback, one of the walk-ons. I want to get, make sure his, he gets in the game. And Jerry Turner just puts everybody in the dirt for an 8-yard touchdown run. The former Fresno City College stud. At this point, 42-10, to 10, I'll bring you guys in because it's pretty much all over but the crying at this point. And they're going to get a touchdown. We've kind of just been in a conservative shell, so really it's nothing to be proud of. Kyle Tool, go, you know, help your dad fix a car or something. We, you don't need to be in the game of college football. And Jampy just continues punishing these fools. I don't traditionally run screens, but we're going to try it out here because we got a beast out here. And Jerry Turner will just take it and get blasted. Evan Russell comes into the game cold. Our third string quarterback hasn't played football in a year. Well, hasn't been on the actual active roster, but kind of throws a little bit of a wobbler here. But Carlos Jackson got that juice in him. JMP just piling forward. And Evan Russell is going to get into the game from his third string quarterback position and run in for a three yard touchdown. I know his folks are happy. He's one of the walk-ons. Good kid, but just gets a little too high sometimes. And their running back gets blown up. That's going to be Lee Miller, the DN, with a TFL. Rayshon Lewis just got doinked in the head by the football. That was a scary sight. And time is going to go ahead and expire here. We're going to get out of here with a 49-17 victory over Troy. Player of the game, Seth Jones, well-deserved. He played very balanced. Stats on the day, Seth Jones, very efficient through the year. 9 for 10, 109 yards, 2 touchdowns, 0 picks. Nothing much else you could ask for from Seth Jones coming in, his first big start. And Evan Russell even got in and threw some balls. Nice to see from the young walk-on. Jampy on the ground, 25 for 137, 5.4 average, 1 touchdown, just a complete workhorse today. Seth Jones even had 100 on the ground. And Jerry Turner got himself a touchdown. Terry Rich, good from the backup. Evan Russell with a touchdown. And Dom Wilson with a touchdown. So even wise, Jason Sanchez on the team. He had a very solid game. But we did not have to throw the ball a lot. 
Carlos Jackson got a touchdown as well as Ethan Riley. We don't need to pass the ball as much, which hurts our receivers, but if we win games, that's what really matters. Scotty Watkins and Ray Sean Lewis, the safety duo, leading the team with tackles. Sean Bailey with two sacks back to his former self. Derek Bailey and Lee Miller with TFLs. And Nathan Stewart going to get our lone interception, a pick six for 69 yards. All right, so that was just fantastic. That was a fun time, was had by all. That's basically what happened to us last week. Defense played phenomenal. And the offense was just in a rhythm. And we were so balanced, it was just a great thing to foresee. Next up, we have... South Alabama. They're a B minus just like Troy was. There is a potential we win this game. You never know how NCAA is going to play it. South Alabama is coming off a curb stomping courtesy of App State. But yeah, that is going to do it for this episode. I had a lot of fun with it. Seth Jones has really proven to us that he's the starting quarterback of this team right now. So uh, everybody have a good day or night and we'll talk to you later.